are listening to a University of Kentucky College of Arts and Sciences podcast. On April 13, 2011, Ahmed Kathy Kathrada, the South African politician, former political prisoner, and anti-apartheid activist, spoke at UK as part of the unveiling of the Traveling Kathrada exhibit, currently being hosted at the University of Kentucky. The exhibit, which documents Kathy's life as an activist for non-racialism and democracy, and also includes a replica of the prison cell in which Kathy spent 26 years of his life, is currently on show in the Webb Gallery of Lafferty Hall until May 31st. Following the opening remarks of the showcase, we talked with faculty, students, and staff as they made their way around the display and asked them about their reactions to the exhibit. I teach Introduction to Anthropology, and we try and include a lot of current events, at least within the last couple decades, to try and include students to know about issues of racism, issues of structural violence, issues of state violence, and ways in which we can work through these historical examples, and then how we can learn from them and understand that it's not very long ago, and we currently are still working through a lot of these issues. So I'm really glad because my students will get to enjoy this exhibit as well. And we have a scheduled tour in a couple weeks. Well, I guess it's different because classes like this year will expect to find a UK. So you should look at to see how they literally bring the diversity to the campus. And what better way to do it than, you know, with an actual exhibit that impacted the entire world. And so people like me who were born later on didn't really know much about it. But this exhibit really, you know, puts it in your face and lets you know how it is. I worked hard to bring the exhibit here, and I've been worried that people wouldn't see it. And it's amazing to see so many people here, students as well as faculty, all different members of the community, all different types of people are here today. Although many of the students in the room were born after South Africa's period of apartheid had ended, the magnitude of the situation and Kathy's involvement in fighting its injustices was not lost on the crowd. And for many people, being in the same room as Kathy was a very emotional and awe-inspiring experience. I was really excited to see Kathleen because I was first informed about him this past summer with the World Cup in South Africa. I know he was involved in apartheid and that was very heavily brought to light this past summer. And it's something I knew very little about but I started researching it. I'm an anthropologist and I actually decided to focus on South Africa after hearing about what people like Kelly had done. And I just think it's amazing that we can get him to come here. I'm almost a little bit starstruck right now. When I first saw him yesterday, I kind of felt like I was seeing a celebrity because I've been staring at his picture for a year and suddenly he's moving and talking and not a picture and the same thing with meeting Miss Hogan this morning. So it's kind of amazing to be able to see him in real life. I've seen a little bit of it and I got very emotional. I didn't expect the emotion and being here with Mr. Cathrata and just seeing him in person and knowing that history, it just it brought up a lot of stuff. I feel like he's done a lot with this experience and been able to really use it to help further educate people and the term they use, non-racialism, mm-hmm. and help further that as a cause. Many students were introduced to Kathy's involvement in non-racialism activism last semester when another South African former political prisoner and anti-apartheid activist, Eddie Daniels, came to speak at UK. But although most of the exhibit's patrons had heard of apartheid or Kathy before, the replicated prison cell, Kathy's opening talk, and the exhibit's collection of photos and personal correspondences taught spectators more about the day-to-day realities and struggles of living under an apartheid. Thanks for listening, and thanks to the College of Arts and Sciences for making this podcast possible. For more information about the Kathrata exhibit, visit southafrica.as.uky.edu backslash kathrataexhibit.aspx.